G'day guys, this is a pretty significant video. It's pissing down with rain, so I was a little bit limited in what I could do. So I thought I'd change the stance of Gilby, slam his back end, and give you an idea from here on in how low he will be and how much attitude he'll gain by being slammed on these metal struts. I got these off eBay from a place called Hellbent. They're for a Harley Davidson Sportster. They come with a little insert, I think, to change that to 9 sixteenths for an Imperial bike. But you take the insert out and ultimately it just fits straight onto the back of an XV250. Uh, don't need much. You need the struts and they lower it by about two and a half inches so they'll remove a lot of this acreage from the back tire to the fender uh, you just need a little bit of electrical tape to wind around the stud a 10 mil and a cutting implement to basically just cut the electrical tape let's get into it guys this one's pretty awesome because for a harley it's a much bigger job because the bike is much heavier literally about twice the weight of Gilby so you'd have to put it up onto a stand or a lift to give you the ability to compress the back end to get the struts on but for this bike I can lift the entire back end off the ground if I need to shouldn't be a problem uh, we'll give it a go anyway if I have to get the lift out I do but I'd like to just do it quickly and efficiently. Carport's leaking as you can see, but who cares? Uh, you take those bolts off, uh, they're 10 mil, and that gives you access to the shock, and literally that's as easy as it is. There's the strut. You can see there's just a little bit of play. So we'll just wrap a couple of rounds of electrical tape around that to just uh, take that play out of it. You can see my electrical tape is hacked to bits because my dog loves running off with rolls of tape. So there's not a roll of tape in my shed that hasn't been chewed on. So six was about one too many. <laughs> Perfect. So we'll just go two rounds and that should take out the free play. One. Try the strut. Perfect. Okay, so this is where you need to manhandle the lock bike a little bit. But just compress it. And that's it, literally. That is it. Let's get those 10 mil bolts again. That one down. The other side's going to be just a fraction more difficult. Come on, dog. You helping? Because you've already compressed the spring. So we just have to lift it up slightly, but it's not that big a challenge. And I've got Miss Marley here to help me if things get out of hand. Her mechanical ability with a lack of opposable thumb is just extraordinary. Off. Yeah. Took easy as that. This one sh should just slide on because it's already at the height. Two rounds of electrical tape. Bottom one. One. Two. Push it on. Perfect.
to lock that down. I'm not sure there's uh, torque specs available for Harley Davidson struts utilised on a Yamaha 250. So just go with what feels right. If you're snapping the spanner, it's probably a little bit too much. But seriously guys, that is it. These struts were only about 90 bucks delivered from the States. Most of that was actually delivery. I'm sure you could go and make some and I've seen pictures on the internet where people have used a uh, sort of bar that they've hand drilled themselves. But I wanted it to look a little bit classy and ultimately if they snap I've got someone to blame because I bought them. Where if I make them myself, ultimately it's all my fault. Get out of the way dog. So guys that is it. That is a slammed Virago XV250. You can see it brings the guard right down onto the tyre. There's still a bit of space in there, so there's no issue of any flex causing it to rub. On these bikes you've actually got quite a heavy gauge inner guard that helps protect everything and I've left that in for the moment. Ultimately the kickstand doesn't work as well, it doesn't lean over quite as much. With a two and a half inch drop it certainly won't tip over, but some of the guys on the internet go eight inch strokes rather than ten inch and so that's a four and a half inch drop. Bottom line is that uh, your kickstand's not really gonna work. You'd have to cut it off. It's not that big an issue, it's still pretty stable. It's as stable as any other bike I've had, but just bear that in mind. If you go any lower than this, then you're potentially gonna have to cut and re-weld a new foot onto the bottom of your kickstand so that your precious bobber doesn't fall over so the next stop is to take this big air cushion and remove that and ultimately start putting a bobber seat on it and then take this big hunk of a fender off and you might have caught a glimpse of the uh, fender in the background that I'm painting up uh, that's going to be put on the back so spoiler alert uh, there's a few things in the mix for the next few videos guys that are going to change the look of Gilby really significantly and also hopefully change the attitude of Gilby really significantly. Guys, my name's Iride Taz, that's Gilby, that's Miss Marley in the rain and that's a slammed back end. I am out.